Let's talk about now the second phase of it that is actually very interesting that is opening sequence of that particular motor or garage door application. See here we have open command that is actually I0.2 whenever somebody press I0.2 the motor opening sequence started already unless the two interlocks meet for example if if nobody uh, presses stop button or the open limit is not yet, yet achieved definitely you will stop the opening sequence or the motor opening will stop automatically when it touches the maximum open limit so let's see for how what i mean for example here maximum open limit is i0.3 when i press i0.3 motor stopped now assume another case when i0.4 that is actually stop button you want to stop the process of the opening you have to press i0.4 that is actually stop let's stop it i0 i press i0.4 and the mode door opening is just stopped there now the question is are we finished with this particular project definitely answer for this question is no we are not yet done with programming this particular project because as an a programmer we have to consider a lot of things the question will come in your mind why not what exactly left the answer to this question is the concept of interlocks now i will tell you what exactly is interlock let's see one scenario and then we will define interlocks in the plc program while programming you have to consider the safety of environment safety of the people safety of the machinery and the safety of the process it is not important to program only the process without safe considering the safety now in that scenario what can be a problem what can be an issue that is very important to discuss let us consider example scenario whenever somebody press for example start button for the closing the door garage door the garage door is still closing consider a situation another guy come in there and try to open the door at the same time now you are trying to open and the close the door at the same time this is very highly dangerous situation that should be avoided you should not allow this kind of situation to happen because if you are talking about opening the door and the closing the door actually in the behalf or the, the back side of that one you are running the motor in the forward and the reverse position for example if you will run the motor in the forward and the reverse position at the same time what is going to happen the motor will definitely going to be in short circuit and that short circuit may result in burning the motor you see in that scenario you will lose the motor you will uh, you will definitely damage your system of the garage door you should not bear that kind of a situation so to avoid that we will modify the program up to now if we look at the program we have i0.0 for the starting or starting to close the door and we have i0.2 to open the door and let's try if we press i0.0 to close the door at the same time another guy come in there he press i0.2 so now you see our program is not considering that interlock that motor close and motor open should not work together so let's try to make that particular interlock into the program in order to avoid that problem we will make sure when motor is in the closing sequence or the door is in closing sequence at that time even somebody press the button to open it it should not work for to achieve it we will use this command like for example 
if door open is there motor should not close the door at that time and here we will take motor close if we are getting this like if motor is or the garage door is closing at that time you cannot run this one this particular like for example even somebody try to press the button to open the that particular door it should not work see now how it will work first I will go to the program here and I will download this particular project I will load it now let's see how it works like for example I start this button I 0.0 let me make it online so that you can see to take a while to get the things there on the screen no problem you can wait with me so see if uh, I press I 0.0 let's make it clear first so that you can understand when I press I I 0.0 to start the closing of the door the motor is closing even now if somebody will press open like for example here you see some guy come there he tried to open that particular door but the door op is not opening because the normally close contact of that motor close we are using here and when when it's it's, it's in high position there is no path for that one to op uh, to energize that particular Q0.1 output that is for opening the door. Same is the case with, uh, for example, uh, at the moment we are done with the motor close safety. Now, for example, if we consider motor open, like see here, if I press I0.2, now even if in some somebody try to close the door at that time see if he even he will press this i0.0 this motor will not be closed so you have make one interlock that in opening of the motor at that time the motor should not close and in the closing of the motor even somebody press the button to close that one or to open that one it should not work we have also considered in closing of the motor or in closing the garage door when you press the garage door closing command even somebody press open command the opening sequence of the garage door will not be activated and by this way you have saved your motor you have saved your garage door automation system from that's it for today in next session we will talk about how to define status signals in a PLC like door is fully open, door is fully closed or when the door is opening the status of openings and when it is closing we will get a status of closing and we will all uh, we will link that all status signals of the PLC to HMI and in HMI we will define graphics there to visually see that all status signals when they, there is the door opening the opening of the door you can visualize on the screen and you can easily monitor the opening and the closing of the door and that's it for now if you like this video hit the like button down there don't forget to subscribe this channel it will give you an advantage whenever we will post some video you will be notified from IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel and you can easily access our video.